I'm Bob Burnett and um, we're just here at 12 Rata Street, first house on the Superhome virtual tour. Um, we had planned a industry bus tour just before the, the lockdown, I think the day after the lockdown. Uh, we were scheduled to visit a group of homes and uh, so we thought we'll do a vid visit video tour and um, people can get a, a look at the homes um, from the comfort of their own homes. So I've got um, Dan Saunders here who has been responsible for the, the eco panel wall panels in this home and Damien McGill from CGW Engineers. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to take you through some of the features that are a bit different about this super home. And so this house has been designed with eco panels. Um, it's a prefabricated wall system where everything's made off site in our factory in Amberley. Um, then comes to site uh, completely weather tight with insulation installed so it speeds up um, build time on site uh, depending on the design we can get houses weather tight and up to as little as two days so um, this one has a combination of rafters and trusses as well so the builder on site did the um, the truss uh, structure of it so we did the walls here um, but it's uh, it's a no-brainer when you're building um, and especially in the winter months where everything, if, uh, the weather tight wraps that we use protects the uh, frames from getting wet so it's good stuff As you can see this space here is a double height space um, north facing um, we've used high performance glazing here which we'll talk about a bit later um, and we've got oversized eaves for some protection from overheating so that we've got uh, optimal shading so another one of the really important things is how we've um, done the structural engineering and um, incorporated the steelwork hey Damien so well there's only one piece of steel in the whole structure we tried to keep it down to timber but it's the only piece of steelwork is in this room here uh, inside the um, cavity services cavity so outside the building envelope, uh, this site is classified as TC2. Um, we've got a double height waffle slab because of flood uh, requirements, finished floor level requirements. Um, fully insulated, 50 mil uh, polystyrene around the sides and around the bottom, and yeah, um, quite a stiff, resilient foundation system. One of the things about building uh, super homes is the ability uh, or necessity for the, the team, the design team to be working together. Um, that really starts with a kickoff meeting with the designer um, and the builder as well if they're on board. Uh, it's really important that uh, clients also present so we understand what the drivers are and the rationale for the decision. Uh, to go down this high performance house super home route uh, especially when we're going down to passive house what's important what's not important um, and yeah we can sit down and um, look at the design and make some tweaks uh, engineer want to do something some way builder want to build it slightly differently so right there right off the bat in that kickoff meeting we all get together we sort out all the design and from then on if we do that process there's never any issues. So I guess from a design designer's point of view the key things about the windows in these homes is we've recessed the windows so they're in line with the insulation so a much better idea so it's going to be warmer and also um, just getting the right proportions and having um, the right orientation to, to north and um, here We've had uh, we've got large north facing windows, so we've got um, really large overhangs on the um, roof, so that we're protecting um, the home and the occupants from overheating in summer, as well as having a nice warm house. So adding to that, we've um, we've used the NK PVC windows. So I'm going to introduce Martin here next to talk about that and um, some different sliders, which has opened up some opportunities for better. Uh, design and um, bigger openings and uh, still airtight and then we've used the new 
low E extreme um, glazing, argon filled uh, double glazing units from Metro Glass. He's going to talk about that. So, hand it over to you, Martin. To talk cool. about that. Yeah, thanks, Bob. So, as well as recessing the frame, which we know um, increases the thermal performance by about 15%, um, we've used our inwards opening tilt and turn windows here as well, which are a lot more um, airtight due to the, the multi point locking. Uh, and Bob mentioned also the slider, so it's a prop, it's a true airtight slider. So by you know, closing the handle on that slider, you're pulling the sash, the moving part of the door, um, into the fixed part, and you're getting a proper airtight slider. So that brings sliders back into um, kind of being able to be used in, in uh, you know buildings where you're trying to get a warmer, warmer thermal envelope. So it's been a great um, project. Been glad to be working with you guys. So this is one of our inwards opening tilt and turn doors, so you can operate it both um, as a normal entrance door but also for um, passive ventilation you can pop it into tilt mode and uh, sit it there and you've got uh, secure ventilation during the day. So this is our uh, new airtight smart slider um, and the big, the big feature of this um, door is that as you clamp the handle on it, you, the, the frames pull together to produce a proper airtight seal. So you see me here and I operate the handle, the frame just pulls away from the fixed side of the slider and nice easy um, European hardware and then to close it back up again mm -hmm. pull it back in and turn the handle down and the frame clamps back into the to the main window frame so that gives you a nice airtight slider <laughs>